In this video, I'm going to give you a simple blitz that you can use when you don't know what to call on defense. Really a great way to keep kind of everything in front of you, force your opponent to check down, and be able to get pretty good pressure while you're at it. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I release new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in today's video, we're talking about a blitzing concept out of probably my favorite or at least most enjoyable defense to run in this game, and that is the nickel triple. The reason I like the nickel triple so much, multiple reasons reasons but one of the main reasons i like it so much is because it is basically the nickel bear that's the way that i view this i view it as if i'm running basically a nickel version of the four six defense and in this video we're going to show you a simple way that you can just literally blitz the crap out of people uh with this with this little scheme and the cool part about it is the setup is really really simple so if you're playing someone that likes to flip their formation you can run this blitz if you're playing someone that doesn't like to flip their formation you could run this blitz no matter what they're doing this concept is very very effective so uh, again if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button if you want to learn my entire nickel triple uh, defense all of my ebooks are available just by joining the patreon so by joining the patreon for just ten dollars a month you're going to get instant access to the nickel triple and the rest of my 13 offensive and defensive ebooks that we've released in madden 22 so if you're interested in that there's a link in the description below but let's talk about nickel triple and the play we're going to be using uh, to illustrate this is cover three sky the reason I like this defense so much is because you really don't have to make a lot of adjustments and it really puts players in a really good position uh, to be able to get pressure and to be able to have really good coverage now a man version of this blitz is the cover one linebacker blitz so those are the two plays you want to be able to have access to I like to come out and cover three sky but you could also come out and cover one linebacker blitz now the way this blitz is going to work, very simple. All we have to do is pinch our linebackers. I like to go ahead and press coverage. And then what I like to do is take this deep blue safety and actually user him on a blitz right in the A-gap. So you see, this is kind of what the, the play looks like. Now the cool part is, let's say they flip their formation. You don't have to do anything to your defense. As you can see right here, we can literally stay exactly as we are, and we're going to be in really good shape. And what you're going to see here is we're going to get A-gap pressure at the quarterback, and then we're going to kind of user over the middle of the field. So again, I want to show you this concept. Very simple. Literally, all you're doing is globally blitzing your linebackers. If you want to, you don't have to use her that middle safety. You can actually just click onto the linebacker. You just want to move him over just a little bit. And as you see, you're going to get A-gap pressure and edge pressure fairly consistently. Now, if the A-gap pressure is messing up for whatever reason, literally all you have to do is just QB contain. So if you're ever having any issues with this with this defense, just QB contain. And what that's going to do is it's going to make the pressure come pretty clean again up the gap. Now the beauty of this pressure is, like I said, it's very simple. Literally just globally blitz your linebackers, stand right here. That's pretty much all you have to do. I think it significantly helps the coverage to move uh, this safety over. And I like to try to get him as close to the center as humanly possible. And what you're going to see here again, a gap and edge pressure just absolutely screaming at the quarterback. Now you might be asking, what happens, Cody, if they flip their formation? So we get our entire defense set up, as you can see, and they decide, you know what, we're going to flip the formation. Literally, you don't do anything. Just literally keep it just like this right here. You might want to repress, but other than that, that's all you need to do. And what you're going to see here is the pressure is still going to come in, as you can see. The really cool part about nickel triple is even if they pick up this pressure, you're going to have all kinds of disengages. The nickel triple provides the best stock three to four down lineman rush in this game. If you want to stand right here, you can. It'll just change where the pressure comes from. Sometimes it'll come from the A gap. Sometimes it'll come from the edge. But again, all you have to do is literally just hover over the gap. If you stand right here, let me just point this out real quick. If you stand right here, sometimes the pressure cannot come in. But most of the time it will come in, especially if you do this. So another way to set this up is to globally blitz, crash your D-line out, and then QB contain. And again, stand kind of right over the center, just like this. Now this looks very similar to nickel 335 wide. As you can see, you get that disengage and we're still getting the good pressure at the quarterback. Now the other cool part about this is if we wanted to audible to the cover one linebacker blitz, we certainly could. And the beauty of this is it pretty much looks exactly the same. The only difference is now, again, we're going to use the safety. Now, if we wanted to, go ahead and man him up on the running back. It's not a big deal. And then just use this guy over the, over the guy. And as you'll see here, we're still going to get the pressure to come in consistently at the quarterback. The same thing is going to happen if they flip their D, if they flip their play. 
So again, here we audible to cover one linebacker blitz. You might bring this guy over here uh, just to kind of help your, your pre-snap look, if you will. And then if you wanted to kind of maybe bring this guy right in here. But then when they flip, take a look at this. You don't have to do anything. Notice that your coverage pretty much does exactly what you needed to do. You might want to go ahead and just kind of change some of your man assignments uh, just real quick to make it a better matchup. But as you can see, again, the pressure is going to come in. Every single time the pressure is going to come in. And as you can see, the defense is relatively effective. So it's a great way to get pressure against pretty much anything. One of my favorite little tricks here is to actually man up the outside players. And then if I'm playing bunch, for example, just man up across the board. And then we're going to have that purple zone on the right side or on the left side. You could even turn him into a hard flat defender over on that side. And as you can see here, this is just another way to run the same basic concept. But again, this five man pressure is really, really, really good. If you want to learn the rest of how I like to run the nickel triple defense, probably one of my favorite defenses that I've used all season long. You can also learn all the rest of my guides over there as well. Be sure to join the Patreon. If you're still watching this video and you want to sign up for the Patreon membership, head on down to the description below. There's a link that you can click on. You'll click that link. It'll take you right over to the Patreon where you can get signed up and get all of my eBooks for just 10 bucks a month. Again, you can cancel that whenever you'd like. Thanks for watching. And if you want to check out the Patreon, head on down to the description of the video.